wife, her smile would light up the room. And although beautiful on the outside, she was even more beautiful on the inside. She never felt, though, like she fit in and, in fact, struggled to see her beauty. But that made her have such a heart for people, especially for those who didn't feel, sorry, especially for those who struggled to fit in just like she did, for friends that were bullied or teased. Rebecca somehow understood. She would make it a point to talk to them and cheer them up. Since her passing, I've received numerous letters, emails, messages and calls from kids telling me how much she meant, how she took the time to care, to talk to them, or to make them feel special. And even one girl who shared that she chose not to take her life because of Rebecca. To me, there is no finer legacy than to hear that your child made a difference in someone's life. Rebecca was a fighter. She was born 14 weeks premature with her twin brother. And she had to overcome a lot of adversity. When she was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia at age 15, she was determined to beat it. I watched her show more courage, bravery, and selflessness in those seven months than anyone can imagine. She would have graduated last year, so this is the first year of giving away her scholarship, where we don't personally know the individuals. However, after reading essays from both Jensen and Emma, it was easy to see that both girls exemplified the same courage, perseverance, and loving spirit that was Rebecca. Love like Becca is a phrase we started using after Rebecca passed away because she loved unconditionally and never knew a stranger. So remember when you go about your day to be like Becca and take time to make a difference in someone's life. And I wanted to present Jensen Myers and um, Emma Demitz. Um, Emma's going to BYU, uh, majoring in elementary education, BYU Hawaii. And Jensen Myers is going to Pepperdine University, majoring in communications.